Hey, thanks for checking out this sample lesson for the beginning electric guitar player on guitarblackbelt.com. I'm Greg Wood. Today we're going to talk about just some of the knobs and bells and whistles of the electric guitar, what's going on with it. This is for the very beginner who has their guitar now, maybe they've even been playing it for a little while, but not quite sure what the knobs do. Um, while it does vary guitar to the guitar, generally it's the same kind of thing. So let's look at my guitar. This is my guitar here. I've got the headstock right here, the head, here's the nut, and then the frets go down the neck, here's the body of the guitar, the bridge is at the very bottom of the strings, and then between the bridge and the neck, there's the two pickups that I have. I have two, you might have more than two, but let's take a closer look down there at the bridge and see what the switches are. Okay, so here's the body of my guitar a little closer up, you got my two pickups, I have a switch called a pickup switch. We'll talk about that in a second. And I have two knobs. You might have more than two knobs. So what do the knobs do? Let's start there. The one closest to the strings is probably... your volume knob. And the reason it's the closest one to the strings, even if you have four knobs, is because if I'm playing and I want to quickly mute my strings because something else is going on, someone's taking a solo, they make this in reach, easily in reach for your pinky when you're playing. So it's usually the one closest to the strings, volume. Volume is definitely one of your knobs. Another one of your knobs, or more than one of the rest of your knobs, handle the bass and treble. I have one knob that does this. I'm going to turn it all the way down, all the way, what would have been down if it was my volume. So it's all the way down, and I'm going to play for you. Oh, turn my volume on. Okay, now I'm going to turn it all the way up. So if you could tell, when it was all the way down, there was no high end in it. This gives you the sound that there's a pillow in front of the amplifier or something. It just sounds much more muffled. But sometimes you want to bring out those low sounds and you might be the person providing the low end while maybe a lead guitar player is taking a solo. I almost never have it all the way down. In fact, I always have it all the way up. And I know a lot of engineers um, and a lot of players who are well respected who always leave the uh, trebles all the way up. Okay, but there are times, especially when you're clean, when your guitar is clean, if you have a Strat, you know, where playing with the varying positions of it is a really good idea. So you might just, you might do that on your own and just find out what you like. So you have a volume knob, and you have a bass and treble knob, and you possibly have more than one. In fact, you might have a bass knob and a treble knob. So what is the switch? The switch is a call to pick up switch, and now you might imagine that it does exactly what it does, which is it switches which pickup is doing the most work or work at all. So when I have it, and you're going to have to just figure out, it's like these are two microphones, and this one mixes them, decides which one to listen to more. Now if I just leave, if I play like I normally play, and which is all the way up, all the way up, I'm going to play right near the bridge. Okay, now I'm going to play closer to the other pickup. It's almost always going to be the case that you'll get a little more high end with the one closer to your bridge. And that's just because there's naturally, even if you have an acoustic guitar, you're going to notice that you can make it sound like a sitar by playing closer to the bridge. Whereas you get a, a sound with more body when you play up closer to the neck. And if you think about it, the strings are drawn tight from all the way at the end of the neck all the way down to here. And they're the most floppy in the middle. And they're the most tightly drawn over here. So it kind of makes sense that you'd get the most sort of tight, high-pitched timbre out of them there. Okay, so you're going to have to play with your pickup switch to figure out 
what setting you like the most. Personally, again, I like it down to this pickup. On the other pickup. There's a lot more body. If you can tell through your speakers, there's a lot more body when I have it through this pickup. So I might do that if I was the only guitar player in the band, or again, if I was backing somebody up who was taking a solo, and they needed to be highlighted by being the high-end sound. Okay, so that's a run-through on some of the parts of the guitar with a focus on the knobs and switches that appear on the body of your guitar. So I wish you the best of luck in playing, and if you'd like more information, definitely check out guitarblackbelt.com. We've got a lot more informational videos, and you can find out how to contact me if you're interested in private lessons. Take care. Have a good one.